Alright, we're checking out the only games where the beauty is making sure absolutely no one gets to survive. It's space game. <laughs> ah, yes, that moment when a beautiful gas giant gets to be gastrologically removed from the universe. I don't know if that's exactly how a gas giant would explode if it were to die. I can only imagine, too, that, like, a point menu, like, this is exactly what Thanos was dealing with when he was going around just claiming planets. He's like, oh, I'm almost level four. I just had to take a moment to, uh, you know, make sure that Santa Gray was gonna come to town over here. Now, obviously, the best way to go and give presents to all the boys and girls of the world is lightning. It's lightning. The power of real lightning. And because lightning is so fast, I'm actually gonna try and do all of this at the same time. I wanna create a completely like encompassing area of lightning around sad Christmas land. Now is it is it is it ready to roll? Oh god, yes, it's ready. More! If the game is not stuttering, you're not trying hard enough. Trust me on this, it's gonna be totally fine. How many ornaments are on the tree? Because there's gonna be a strike of lightning for, well, there's actually gonna be a lot more strikes of lightning than however many ornaments those are. I'm gonna throw a bunch of these at the problem too. Plus you can see them appear as I click, which is nice. So when all this happens at exactly the same time, what does the game count? Because we're gonna do all this and blow up the sun. And I don't know if this place will be destroyed before the gigantic supernova gets here or what. So let's go ahead and start. Sun should be blowing up here in just a moment. There is the titanic never ending lightning storm of destruction. Oh my God, there's the sun blowing up in the background. You know, hold on, let's get rid of everything here so you can really get the opportunity to enjoy this. I love that there is a, just a wall of satisfaction over here. Now, the, oh, yeah, planet smashed is right. Get out of the way. Now, the, uh, you know, the, the topper for the Christmas land is, I guess, kind of still up. Oh, never mind. I was going to say it's still alive. This is the most colorful death that I think I've ever had a planet do. I do not remember mm -hmm. unleashing you upon this, or you. Where did either of you come from? Were you inside of there? Is this like a little present that you get? Like something extra? Like a part of the toy inside of the Happy Meal? Only, you know, the Happy Meal here is, you know, death. But if I, uh... You guys all live through the supernova? Oh, they're doing pretty good still. I think this guy's shooting at the worm, but he's not really doing anything. Huh. Everyone just survived. This, but the, these parts survived through the supernova, and there's still kind of a piece of the, uh, the snow globe left. That's impressive. It's Universe Sandbox. So, um, before, there was a certain limit to how hot you could make something, but I kind of found a way around it. Let me take a moment to show you something. This is the moon. I feel kind of bad for it because it was just the first thing I clicked on. Now, as you can see, the moon has an average temperature of not very much. In Canada, this would kind of be average, but down here in Florida, everyone dies. Now, what would happen if, let's just say, you started multiplying it? You can see you get to 1,000 degrees Celsius, 10,000, the moon starts to turn into the sun, there's 100,000, a million. The problem is before you can get to an infinite number, it goes down to absolute zero. And then you have this. Do you know what this is? A depressed moon. Now, what you can do, however, is get to a stupid number like this. Here we go. Utilize the new atmospheric mass. Give it, I don't know, uh, one of the Earth's atmospheric masses. Come over here to the laser. Choose one that has a lot of zeros in it. Add more zeros. And then start shooting the laser at what you've made. Now you're going to notice that the numbers over here will start to do whatever the hell they want. This is exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> now you can see this over here and you'd say, but great, that doesn't really seem like that much temperature. What is that, like 291 million? That's like rookie numbers. Now you don't seem to understand. That's not where the numbers end. <laughs> So after you have your, whatever, 42 trillion degrees Celsius, just adding a little bit more because I can. Uh, so now we have whatever that number is. Now we can go ahead and throw this at the earth. Go ahead and slow things way the hell down and yeetily deed it. Gotta speed this up before it loses all of its energy. Start off at one light speed, nice and slow. And here we 
go. See, right now, the Earth is like, why am I already getting skin cancer? Oh, you must not know. Touchdown. All right, so let's go ahead and just take a moment over here. Let's we'll see how much, oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> I was gonna see how much heat was transferred to the Earth. The answer is a little bit. Now remember, we're at the size of the moon here. I have to see if I can make this work with just a single droplet of water. The good news is, is that the Earth is still mostly made out of silicate. The bad news is, is that silicate is now a gas. I like how it's still giving Earth a chance. It's like, ah, eh, someone could still be alive. I'd like to take a moment to mention that the Earth right now uh, has a liquid water depth of that. Now, 95,000 might not look like very much, but um, look at what the measurement is. Yeah, if you want something a little bit more obvious, it's uh, that many suns in liquid water depth. Now, obviously, I do have to let the moon finish up here just to see if Earth... Oh, Earth now has balls. Or actually, it's turned into Mickey Mouse. This is amazing. This wasn't really my intent, but I'm really glad I did it now. See, if you look like this, it might get you demonetized. But if you look like this, see, it's fun for the whole family. All right, here, moving onward. The Mickey ears fly off into space. And I imagine that the Earth will eventually cool down here. Just kind of watch as different particulates, that being most of the souls of the damned, fly off of the planet. It is now pooping out most of its extra atmosphere that was given to it by our gigantic moon death. And we should be go ahead and crap. All right, now that we have a brand new earth, oh, look at that, we've luckily stopped right on Japan. We can go over here, we can make our water droplet, start with a template of the moon. Then we have to, I actually don't know how big a water droplet is. Hey Google, how big is a single raindrop? According to Hypertext book, uh -huh. raindrops generally have a diameter greater than 0.5 millimeters. They range in okay, size I... up to about three millimeters. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I don't need to know their entire history, thank you. All right, so we're not working with much here. Half of a millimeter, just do that, there we go. All right, now that the moon is looking slightly more cancerous, like that, it's also vibrating very wildly when I start to move it. Go ahead and save it real quick, okay. So first things first, we have to turn the entire composition to water. There we go. Then we have to give it an atmosphere. Ah, uh, we did one earth last time. Let's do, I'm just gonna, just gonna do that. There we go. It's always good when your freezing point has an E in it. Now what we can do is start messing with the mass while locking in the size. Now the best part is normally this would just turn into a black hole, but because we've given it a bullshit amount of atmosphere, we can do this. <laughs> oh, hey, now it actually looks like a drop of water. It's a drop of water that's framed in blood. Now that we have various numbers of stupidity. Okay, we're gonna put the speed up to one light speed, and now we have to heat this thing up. Take our galactic laser, give it the old yeetle Deet. And now you may say to yourself, Great, how hot is Sailor Moon right now? Whatever this number is, except the number keeps kind of going. It's it's that number there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and let this fire at the Earth. I appreciate that right now we are firing one half of the ocean at the Earth. Go, my son. Now, fortunately, I think that most of Japan will be spared. As you can see, our... <laughs> Our one drop of rain has turned into a light from the heavens. It's not even shaped like a droplet anymore. It's just like a small piece of plasma. Oh my God. If you want, go ahead and take a moment to recognize that a fortune cookie is raising up from the ocean of the earth. The earth, which is now that many degrees Celsius. I have to, oh my God. I was curious, you know how much different some of the temperature is. I like that you can live on the north side of Jersey and it's five degrees Celsius. Very nice, you know, and then across the street, it's uh, whatever that number is, right? Whatever that one there. It's at 3.7 billion degrees Celsius. Seems legitimate. All right, let's go ahead and move things along here. Now, luckily the earth is cooling down. It's taking this quite well. The total water mass is infinite. Hold on, if the water mass is infinite. Okay, surface temperature, a lot. Okay, maybe, maybe Japan is gone. This is what I was looking for. Liquid water depth, positive infinity times the Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and then, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this continue onward here for a little bit. Like I said, you never know. The Earth is incredibly resilient. Okay, couple of seconds moving by now. The ghostly phallus of sadness 
He is slowly peeling away from the earth. Oh, it's changing color. Before it just looked like a Q-tip, but now it's starting to look like a delicious cheese doodle. Oh, crap. And the earth just vaporized. I'm not gonna lie, an ultra hot droplet of water is possibly the most powerful thing I've ever destroyed the earth with. Let's add more zeros. In fact, I'm gonna have to see if it can destroy other stuff. Like maybe we can destroy the sun with it. All right, go ahead and throw no survivors in there. Go ahead and stupidly increase the mass by a lot. I'd like to mention that right now, that one little half a millimeter speck has the mass of 65 oceans. Make it all water. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go real crazy this time. Here we go. Galactic super laser. Go! <laughs> All right, we're left with whatever stupid number we have. And just because, we'll go ahead and move this up to uh, 100 light speed. Here we go. Now then, if we're lucky, Earth will finally get some of the damn rain we've needed. I do appreciate that now the water droplet, it hasn't actually turned into a black hole. It's just lost its texture. <laughs> it's just a glowing textureless mass. I just noticed too that I haven't tortured Australia in a while. I'm sorry. All right, let me slow down so we can get a nice view of the impact here. Go ahead and move back slightly. And here we should happen. Oh my God. Okay, I had to pause because that was totally the opposite of what I thought was going to happen. This is interesting. Instead of transferring all of the heat and making the earth one gajillion degrees, it flash froze half of the earth. I love how the big difference here is that you have green absolute zero and like red absolute zero. The liquid water depth is 1.1 million times Jupiter. That's excellent. You have ice thickness of 69,000 times the Earth. All right, I'll go ahead and let things move on here just to see if uh, anything else will happen. The Earth clearly got knocked off of its axis. The Earth is now starting to spew out some gases and that's it. The Earth is so relatively fine that there could still be people living there. Maybe the idea is you want the rain droplet to move slower when it's that hot. All right, in order to test this theory, I'm gonna do something I never normally do. I'm going to slow no survivors down. I almost feel dirty doing this. All right, so I have to move this thing like incredibly close to the Earth. Okay, now that it's super close to the Earth, we're gonna slow it way down to a mere one-tenth light speed. How much mass? Yes. Atmospheric mass. I'm gonna put in numbers until I get tired. Here we go. Ah, the freezing point is now positive infinity. That's what I like to see. Give it the disco power! Now you may be saying to yourself, but Gray, how hot is this single droplet of water? Uh, 1.4 billion degrees Celsius. You know what? That's actually not enough. There, 2.1 billion degrees Celsius. All right, go my son. Ah, yes. And like a small glowing sesame seed of death, our comparatively slow moving, ultra hot, single water droplet will soon impact the earth. And here we go. <laughs> I find this interesting. It just looked like it vacuum packed the earth. Everything just crunched downward. Anything really change here? I don't know, everything. Thing seems okay. Go ahead and speed things up here just to make sure that the vacuum packed earth kind of continues to do whatever it's going to do. Oh, there's a little fiery area that just happened. There's a wave of insta death kind of taking over all of the land. That's nice. I mean, I did throw like 64 oceans worth of water at the earth, so there is that. All right. Um, I can. What the hell? I was gonna say I can start speeding things up, but time has completely frozen. Uh, I've actually never seen this happen before. Okay, I don't know, time, time is at least moving now. Hold on, now that I can actually speed things up. Come on. Anything? Well, all right, I told, I should have known. Slowing things down never works out well. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna have to do is go back. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. What the, what the hell? Crap, I'm like lost in the death sphere. What the hell took you so long? <laughs> what is this? Like every Floridian on earth just had a year of destroying their liver because the earth decided not to do anything about the death it was supposed to experience. So now we're doing 16 seconds a second. I still don't actually know what the earth has done. What the hell? The earth is vaporized from the inside. <laughs> Look, there's actually nothing there. You can actually see through the earth, the landmass, the skin of the earth is still there, but the inside is gone. 
I think we just legitimately cored out the earth. Uh, I guess I'll keep going. I've never done that before. I've never taken the earth's yoke away from it. Okay, now the rest of the earth is kind of slowly vaporizing. There is the horizon of death. Yeah, the earth just poofed. We may have hollowed out the earth, but there's still the one final boss, the sun. Usually I leave the sun out of things because it's a real pain in the ass to kill. We're probably gonna have to pull out all the stops for this, but I'm not stopping until we destroy the entire known galaxy. All right, no survivors, put it down. I need to shove as much mass in here as humanly possible. Okay, right now there is 240 oceans worth of mass in a half millimeter sized rain droplet. All right, we need to bring this as close as possible to the sun so it doesn't just get vaporized before it hits. I imagine while I'm doing this, the sun is like, no. <laughs> Hold on, I can I can actually bring this down to kilometers. All right, this is as close as I can get before the game gets pissed off. Speed, we're going for the magic number. Half light speed. Atmospheric mass. Yes! Oh, I landed on plus 69. That was totally unplanned. All right, luckily the freezing point is now at positive infinity. All right, total water mass. Let me just save this. Okay, I've got the total water mass as not a number. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Oh my god, I actually made the water bar disappear off of the game. It doesn't exist anymore. The amount of water is positive infinity of the Milky Way. This is this is the most powerful rain droplet that was ever born. All right. This is it. More. More. Okay. It's as slow as we can get. You know what time it is. Do it. Okay. Holy crap, that was a lot faster than I thought it would be. Okay, my son, you know what you must do. What the hell? <laughs> Go, my child. Go. See, this is actually working out perfect because if you do too many light speeds, you don't actually get to see what the hell happens because it moves too damn fast. All right, now we can probably speed things up just a little. Okay, now it's starting to, starting to move kind of quickly here. Okay. An infinite, not a number, positive infinity amount of water versus the sun. One tiny water droplet. Oh, hold on. Oh, I actually can't slow down anymore. I'm as slow as I can get. Go! Whoa! Where the hell? Where did all the planets go? Okay, Mercury is way out here. Oh my god. It flew away from this. It. 1.42 plus 26 light speed. <laughs> Hold on, can I even see sat? Okay, there's Mars. Mars is 1.53 light speed. <laughs> and in the end, it ate the sun. And now it's moving at 403,000 times light speed. But there actually is a little bit of water on the sun now. <laughs> so there was a recent update to Universe Sandbox that allows us to mess with clouds, the weight of clouds, and atmospheric weight. What this means is I get to do stupid things that you shouldn't be allowed to do in science and test them in the most ridiculous ways possible. Yes, I want to create a light speed hurricane, but that's not all. Normally I would just create a light speed hurricane and murder everyone on earth, but that's too easy. I want to create a light speed hurricane with clouds that are so heavy that it can backhand a meteorite out of the Earth's atmosphere and save us all from certain annihilation. Now you folks, especially those of you in Japan, I just say that because it's here right now, maybe saying to yourself, but Gray, if there's light speed cloud cover, wouldn't that just kill everyone on Earth anyway? I don't know. No one's ever made light speed clouds. So I guess we're gonna find out. Also, uh, I have to mention something. Universe Sandbox is simulating all this cloud cover right now. Uh, this simulated cloud looks a lot like something juvenile that I draw in all of my other drawing games. I had nothing to do with this. This was here before I got there. So anyway, as always, we need what I like to call the death baseline. All right, so here we can see how fast the clouds are moving in real life. This is five days every second, kind of slow. You know what we call this? Rookie numbers. Now to help us test the baseline of death, we're gonna go down here and grab 
a volunteer. Uh, radius of 116 kilometers. Yeah, this looks good. Now, I do like to abuse Florida a lot, but let's just say that this was an alien invader. I'm gonna have them go to Australia. <laughs> Yeet. Now, you may be saying to yourself, why Australia? Because in case my light speed clouds don't work, I guess, I, I don't know, they'll just get poisoned by everything down there. All right, time to see where the baseline is. Oh, look at this. It might not even hit Australia. Oh, actually, it might, it might just barely hit the tip. So, um, does anyone happen to live, like, right on this coast? Because if so, things might get fairly bad in just a moment. That was a pretty deep impact. Oh, we always go deep on this channel. It's pretty awesome, too, because from this distance, you can actually see the mushroom cloud elevating off the surface of the Earth. Well, I call it a mushroom cloud. It's basically just a vomit of hell death. Man, and this is only 116 kilometers. All right, so it hits, vomits out all of the fragments. The fragments are littering everywhere. In a moment here, uh, it will start to rain fire down upon Australia. You'll actually uh, see that in just a moment. Yep, there it is. All right, um, well, hold on. Let's see how much of the population is still left because like I said, this is our test. Oh man, we only killed 4% of the population. Oh wow. Uh, the peppering of fragmented solar diarrhea is reaching, oh my God. <laughs> Reaching over to like Spain <laughs> didn't touch Japan though lucky them and everyone's always talking about like screwing up the ozone layer Now there is a permanent hole in our ozone layer. All right, but the question is can the earth recover from this? And yes, you can see people are starting to procreate again the life on earth is going back up and we're for the most part fine Look at this even Australia has healed. Okay. I do want a secondary test here I need something just a little bit bigger. So what is this? 116 kilometers point zero eight of the radius of the earth. I feel like this one is slightly bigger. Hold on Australia I already screwed you over one time. Yeah, might as well go for Florida right about here Oh, I don't I don't think I needed to really aim up that well. All right Sedna or whatever the hell your name is All right Sedna is coming in and I was Completely off center and so instead we're gonna end up killing like Texas and or Mexico I'm gonna keep increasing these clouds until we can stop this thing. I've decided it's so oh god I was gonna say it's so big. It's so powerful. I might have to go beyond light speed for the clouds mm -hmm. Give me a hug earth earth is like no stop <laughs> All right, let's see how the Earth is doing here. Uh, well, the average surface temperature of the Earth is now 117 degrees Celsius. That is to say, not too good. It also has a concave hole on one side now. Okay, so it's only been a couple of seconds, because we're moving at 1.55 seconds per second, that this thing hit the Earth. You know, I need to, I need to have a real name for this. Hold on. Your name is Satan. Please. Anyway, what I was saying is this has only been happening for a few seconds and we have we've officially killed everyone Everyone died from that like the ring of fire hasn't even gone anywhere yet and everyone is just dead So if my light speed hurricane can keep at least 1% of the population alive That's better than this because that is a hell of a ring of fire that's spreading throughout the earth You may be saying to yourself <laughs> Bad, Bad to the point where part of the ocean's temperature is 23,000 degrees Celsius. I feel like that's no longer water. I feel like that's no longer steam. All right, so we've killed everyone in what is the shape of a starfish. That's interesting. Our beautiful blooming flower of earthly genocide. The impact ring of fire is still stretching. It is now passing South America. Luckily, Florida did basically get boiled right away, so we don't have to worry about, you know, a slow death. All right, speed things up here. And now all of the other particulates will slowly sweep over the earth, killing anyone who may be left. Excellent. And then you get pelted by all these dust and gases. All right, now that we pretty much, oh look, I basically made the Death Star. All right, now that we know where kind of death and a lot of death is, I have to start speeding up the clouds. First things first though, I need a new earth. Hey, new earth. This earth is like, what happened to the last earth? That's not important. We're gonna name this, there we go. All righty, first things first here, cloud speed simulated. Nope, cloud speed. 
12 meters a second. Oh, one of the increments of, of speed is light speed. What do you know? The developers must be watching. So let's do, uh, instead of 12 meters a second, let's do uh, 12 kilometers a second. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Okay, so our clouds got a lot thicker and now they're moving at 12 kilometers a second, but they weigh exactly the same. So we have to change that. Hold on. Uh, ah, atmospheric mass, one earth. Let's just double it. I don't want to go too far. Okay, so kind of looks like the clouds have gotten even thicker, <laughs> turning into something like a Venus at this point. The average temperature of the earth is starting to rise. How many people are left alive? Uh, okay, so just doing that immediately killed 40% of the population, but that's okay. We still have 62% left. So let's see if this does any better when faced with our meteorite. All right, so we're gonna start like we did last time over here. See if I can give Panama some loving. I don't really know because it's pretty cloudy. All right, slow things down. And here we go. It's actually kind of awesome now because the clouds are moving so fast that you can see them move even though this thing is flying at 36 kilometers a second. And here we... All right, it's definitely touching our gigantic field of clouds. Ah, uh, it still looks pretty bad. All right, there is the the death explosion. You can see some of the particles starting to put holes in the clouds. All right, but the question is, how many people did that kill? Oh, it only killed 2% this time. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a light speed hurricane may legitimately save the Earth. All right, speed this up, let it do its thing. See if the Earth can heal. There we go, nice. And there you go, back to normal. I know I hate you, Gray, may beg to differ, but you know, as normal as we can get. All right, now let's see if we can save any of the population by throwing this at it. There we go. I didn't actually see where I shot this at, so I don't know who's gonna get hit with it. Oh, just, it's just out in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? I want you to have a different name though. Your name is Tyler, right? Oh God. All right, still looks fairly bad. This time we seem to have the shape of a maple leaf happening. Whoa, we only killed like 10 extra percent of all the people on the earth. Hell yes. My clouds are amazing. I mean, more people are slowly dying as you know, all of the particles settle in, but let's see where we end up at. Hey, only like 15 extra percent death. Nice. Okay, now let's make our cloud speed. I'm going for it, man. We'll start at one light speed and if we have to do more light speed, we will. Well, why did it already go to 12 light speed? Just, just one. I don't want to go too crazy. <laughs> oh, hold on, I forgot to get a new earth. I know this, this new earth is like, damn it. Get over it, Joseph. All right, let me get the light speed clouds back oh oh my god <laughs> remember how i said i was gonna make like a category billion hurricane this is like a double i hurricane i think is that the entire united states this is the in, this is the size of the entire United States. Part of the hurricane is touching South America, actually. Jesus, what else is happening on Earth? How come it's all happening over here? There's like another smaller hurricane up here. Why does it always have to happen right next to Florida? All right, so anyway, we have our light speed clouds, and now we just have to increase the mass of the atmosphere. Uh, we'll go by 10. I'm gonna slow things way down, not like it's gonna matter because the clouds are still having an epileptic seizure. Okay, now unfortunately, the weight of the new atmosphere is, uh, you know, bringing the temperature of the Earth up as it does, but we still have 15% of the people left on Earth. So like I said, as long as there's like 1% left to save, this could work because we know the second meteorite instantly kills everyone normally and just 12 kilometers a second clouds at only twice as heavy managed to save, you know, 40% of the population? That's honestly way better than I had hoped. All right, we're gonna grab our boy over here. I would give Japan the yeet, but I actually can't see it. It's somewhere around here. Uh, whatever, right around here. Yeah, there we go. All right, slow things way down. Actually, things are so slow right now. And look at how fast the clouds are still moving. My meteorite doesn't even look like it's getting anywhere. Hold on, let me speed it up. Okay, here we go. And, oh, hold on, slower. Okay, it's about to touch. It's about to touch the ridiculous light speed clouds. Yes. Oh, oh. What the hell? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> did, 
did it literally just turn to dust? It turned into a giant cheese ball. It's delicious. Okay, it looks like it still did kind of make a, like a, a little burrowed area in the middle where it hit, but there are a couple of small fragments. Hold on, let me just, I gotta speed things up here to see what the hell's gonna happen with this. All right, there is a really weird layer of fire. I, yeah, look, the, the, the meteorite turned into a plasma or something when it hit the clouds. Oh God, maybe because the clouds are so close to the surface of the earth, it just made things so much worse for us. It's like a secondary detonation. All the fragments are like tiny suns. Oh my God, they're 12,000 degrees Celsius each. No. Hold on. Is anyone left alive for God's sakes? Oh, wow. Tons of people are still left alive. I think we've only lost like 1% of what was left of the population. Let me see what happens with the fragments here. Okay, so the fragments, ah, what the hell? Uh, I, what the, what the hell happened? I'm stuck, I'm stuck on the planet. I actually can't move in the game. Oh, here we go. Let me off of the surface. What the hell happened? What happened? Joseph, no! What is this? Oh no, did my light speed clouds like rip the entire planet apart? I mean, I hadn't really thought about that, but I guess it's possible. Oh God. Oh no. Okay. All the, like all the pieces that are coming off of it are evaporating though. Oh Lord. Oh, now it's pooping out incredible interstellar smoke. Now it's burning away. What is happening to this planet? Joseph, I'm so sorry. Needless to say, life is, <laughs> everyone's dead, of course. Oh, the max temperature isn't that bad. It's only 1300 degrees Celsius. That's not, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed time up here just to see if anything is left in the end of Earth. Hey! Yeah, we do have a little earth left. Like legit, we, we ended up with a tiny earth. It has, you know, somewhat normal temperatures. The boiling point is 166 degrees Celsius, which is interesting. In case you're wondering, yes, everyone is still dead. Huh, we're actually only one third of our original size. Okay, well that was amazing. So now I have to know what happened. Now we're just gonna, I'm gonna make the clouds go like 1 billion times light speed and I'm gonna increase the mass to whatever, 1 billion times normal earth mass. All right, we've got a new earth. Let me just say this in advance. Alrighty, clouds, light speed. One with a lot of zeros. There we go, that's one billion times light speed. And for the atmospheric mass, one billion times Earth. Okay, I've got some bad news. Earth now has a like red tinged death glare. All right, let me go ahead and slow things down here and see what this does. Oh my God. I love how at this point, it's not even just hurricanes anymore. This is like a hurricane in the shape of a lima bean. Look at what is happening right now on this planet. I have to just stay stopped because it moves so fast. You can't see it at any other speed. Was anyone able to survive? The no, everyone died. That said, even though all life on Earth is gone, I have to see what would happen if we threw the meteorite at. Listen, this is for science, okay? Very violent science. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's see finally if our clouds are clouds that are in the shade of the blood that they have pulled out of all of the human beings on Earth. Let's see if it can finally backhand the meteorite. Okay, speed up here. There we go. All right, and we are coming in for a landing. Hold on. Okay, I just wanna say like super slow here as we go in for the hit. All right, yeah, perfect. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where did Where did you go? We were moving at 1.4 seconds per second. What the hell happened? Uh What the hell? Uh oh. Oh my god. Um Did did that hit did that hit evaporate the entire solar system? Everything, everything is gone. 
all the planets, the sun, everything is gone in one shot. I, we murdered everything. We murdered everything in the entire universe. Whatever this is, is all that's left. The best part is when I pause, it turns to this. Solar Smash had a gigantic update that added a bunch of really stupid things that you can do to the planet, which is exactly what this game is supposed to be. I like how before we had space worms, like a, a space Cthulhu, and now we just have the shadow of One Punch Man. It's like the ghost of One Punch Man's past. Just less festive and more deadly. Just because I know people are gonna ask, we're gonna start off with a bang. I'm pretty sure you have to start every instance of torturing all human life on Earth by blowing up the sun and allowing everyone to cook like they've been put inside of a planetary microwave. So there you go. I'm not- Never mind. I was gonna say I'm not gonna lie, it takes the Earth a long time to understand that it should be blowing up now. There's also a new planet. It's basically hell. I finally get to give the devil his just desserts after he ruins my life every day in GTA and Happy Wheels. As usual, I'm going to combine all these things in ways that will probably break my computer. Then I can use my YouTube money to buy a new one and then continue the vicious cycle. So I noticed there's a brand new rocket here. Uh, in order to test it, I'm going to use Florida as you do. Reason being because over in Florida, we have a natural, very high tolerance to radiation. SPF is basically made from our sweat and tears. I'm not gonna lie, I figured since it was the last item on here, that was going to be pretty impressive. To get 102 million deaths for one single explosion. And this game is pretty- Oh shit. Okay, uh, the numbers are going up kind of- Okay, everyone's dead. I didn't know that the rocket went from completely limp to incredibly potent. <laughs> All in one shot. It's one of those rockets that's a lot bigger once it gets in there. Wait a minute. Can you like do a lot of these? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's just, hold on. I need to slow time down so I can get more of these out. Auto clicker, go. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Did about a hundred of them. So if ever there were a point where this game would probably cease to function, this should be it. Although I'm not, I gotta say, it's actually handling, <laughs> It's handling 100 planetary explosions pretty well. There's a bunch of other stuff too over here. Back in my day, we just had a UFO and a planet destroyer. Now there's like a circular planet destroyer. And then a very wiener looking planet destroyer. All right, generally I gauge everything by, oh, you can change the power. First things first, everyone's gonna get killed with pink. I'm gonna start this on one, how high does it go? I shouldn't have asked. Oh, hey, I unlocked an achievement. When this game got updated, they reset everything. So now I've only killed 54 billion people. Gotta bump those numbers up. Alrighty, let's take a look at what the non-phallus looking planet destroyer does. Well, I call it a planet destroyer. Maybe it's just going to give the planet like LASIK or something. Okay, it's 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 literally giving the planet LASIK. I was kind of kidding, but now it's it's happening. The Marianas trench wasn't good enough. The aliens came and they're like, your trench is stupid. Let's fix it. How deep is it? Not 130 miles deep? Rookie numbers. When the hell does this end? What the hell is it legitimately just going to cut the entire earth in half? I have to sit here through this until the earth gets, I mean, I will. God, it's like the hydraulic press channel or something. It just costs 3.6 billion lives every time to make a video. Imagine if some plasma tore YouTube channel was, I don't know, like plasma torching a marble. And this is actually what was happening. I played this game in somewhere else in the universe. The civilization gets a lot lighter. Okay, clearly we need more of these. There we go. Oh yeah. Uh, now we're doing it. Oh Jesus. Perfect. Somehow the planet is still alive. I'm not sure who got the top and who got the bottom portion. Is Florida still around? You're damn right it is. Hold on, let me see if I can make a real quick tic-tac-toe board out of this. Oh yeah, it's like cutting a... A mandarin orange for your kid's lunch. Someone's at the galactic grocery store and they're like, how do you like your honey baked earth? Thinly sliced. Man, the earth finally gave up, Jesus. Okay, now I'm curious, what does the five get you? Oh, it's not wider, it's just deeper. That sounded bad, but it's realistically what's happening. All right, wiener laser. There's no editing for this, so it's your time to shine. Bruce Willis, Godspeed, man. Oh, it is, it's a planetary drill, hell yes. I wish I could make it a little bit girthier, but I mean, you take what you can get. Oh, it doesn't really know how to go in a straight line either. It kind of just does whatever the hell it wants. You know what it needs? Friends. All of the planetary Bruce Willis's go. 
There you go. The earth went to the salon. It's just getting, getting exfoliation. Oh, hey, here we go. They're exiting out the other side. It's kind of like shooting the earth with a really big gun, but the bullet is on cocaine. What's the little barrier thing? Does this like block the bad stuff? All right, let me see what this little sad shield does. It's trying to penetrate my shield. Actually, the shield's holding up pretty well. I'm kind of curious, like, can you stack shields and stop Cthulhu from, you know, harvesting the souls of all the people of Earth? I had to wait a second because Cthulhu comes out really quick. Okay, he penetrates through the shields, reels back. Now, typically he, he's, Oh! All right, Australia, you're the only ones without a shield, so you're my test subjects. Can one barrier stop a space Cthulhu? Yes, it can. I just realized I was over here by the missile area, and I totally didn't figure out what the hell this- <laughs> It's like a minigun. Australia's the only place where you can torch half of the continent and only 24 million people are dead. I know that sounds really bad, but watch Florida for two seconds here. Florida, boop. Three times as many people. Looks like I can literally draw a face across Australia and not even get a billion people. I think it's because everyone lives right around here. I didn't mean to do this, but I gave my happy face like a tongue sticking out. Now it's either dopey or vastly inappropriate. I know, I know, I gotta give it a nose, hold on. There you go. One of the big questions I feel like everyone would have is what the hell is this? So I'm gonna give it a shot as usual on Florida. I, is it actually gonna be like One Punch Man punching the planet? He does, he just straight up punches the planet for one billion deaths. Hold on, can I summon him like a hundred times and just punch straight through the planet? Oh yeah. This is how you power them up. Woo! And when the smoke finally clears, our boy has punched completely through the earth. And I, I don't know what this is. Down here, the earth has like a perfectly formed pair of testicles. I'm not really sure why this happened when the deific Rocky Balboa was punching through the earth. So can the SPF barrier protect Florida from the, the razor ruddock punch of astrological proportions here. No, the barrier does nothing against this guy. What the hell, it can stop Cthulhu, but it can't stop discount unity asset one punch man. Okay, now I was kind of curious exactly what we're dealing with over here. I mean, there's no one alive. Mainly, I just want to see if the, uh, the inside of the planet looks delicious, like good enough to eat. If it's particularly... Oh. All these little things are their own entities. Heads up, I need to get inside a lot faster. Now, kind of just looks like a radioactive Cadbury cream egg. I don't know how, but I completely missed my opportunity to activate my Thor powers. I'm not really sure though what lightning could do compared to black. Holy shit. This isn't lightning. What the hell? It's like an Earth-sized 12-gauge shotgun. How the hell are 5 billion people still left alive? Okay, now I need to slow things down again and see if there's uh, any kind of... Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Might as well get the poles, too, right? There we are. I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty bad. Hold on here. There. Now you could have the... Uh, now you can have the full cinematic effect if there's anything left, it's gonna go to the highest bidder. I think there's like, uh, maybe eight or nine floating little planet chunks that we may be able to live on. Okay, that number's dwindling. There's like eight now, seven, I think like five. And this is what we're left with. It's basically like the, uh, the poop corn kernels of the universe. <laughs> Hold on, let me just... There's no reason. Let me just clean this up. I just realized you can change the power of the planet destroyer? Can it get any more powerful? It was already destroying the planet. It was only at a two. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna double check that this thing still evaporates all life on Earth. Maybe, maybe it, maybe they kind of watered it down. You know, it's like the diet planet destroyer. I mean, it's still looking pretty bad. Yeah, everyone's still dead at a two. I'm not really sure why they had to make this any stronger. I mean, regardless, there's two things we gotta do. Turn the beam pink and crank it up all the way. All right, I've abused Florida a lot. California, you're up. Let me see what the what the pink punisher here does. Charging up my laser. Like I said, everyone dies anyway to like the regular one. I mean, I can crank it down all the way and see if people can live. 
Okay, it still looks pretty deep. Everyone still dies. The only difference is people die deeper here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me let me bring this down a couple notches. How low does it go? 0.5. Florida, test it. Sad planetary laser, half off sale. Go. And we have connection. Uh, it still looks pretty freaking bad, and everyone is still dead. So, oh, sh I spawned another one. Wait a minute. Auto clicker, you're up again. Oh, hold on, let me slow down time. We want as many of these as possible. You gotta do it after all. You know what, what the hell? I'm gonna spawn a couple things here. Might as well. Maybe they can kill Galactic One Punch Man. Coffee! There we go. None of the, like half of them aren't even looking at the planet. You look at the planet when you punch it. Okay, that should be enough random crap. Here we go. Most of the lasers are just going through the middle because there's really no core left anymore. And I appreciate that the little tiny bit that was left, just the few particles that had survived the cacophony of stupidity had to get blown up, even though they probably didn't get touched by the planet destroyer. I just need to check something. Machine World has the impenetrable barrier that you have to like beat to death before you're allowed to kill anything inside. Can you punch through this or is, or is this a, an instant stop? Okay, the, the barrier did absolutely nothing. So now can you, like, can you punch the core directly now that it's exposed? That should be a perfect alignment. Punch the goddamn core! Yeet! Well done, you did it. Just because I was curious, I had to go to like a place where there's two different suns and I had to find out if you can blow up both suns so you get like a two for one special. Taste my meaty laser. Okay, it looks like the secondary sun can't actually get touched. That makes me very, oh, never mind. It totally blows up too. I think I just got a super fast achievement that said like 10 planets destroyed. Hold on, how many deaths are we at? My God, 144 billion people. Now we're talking. I like how you effectively get levels at destroying people's lives. Great, I'm a level six psychopath. Okay, so now I'm really curious. What happens if Galactic Jojo like punches through the sphincter of Cthulhu. I don't actually know if that's Cthulhu's sphincter. It's just the only hole that he has on him right now. I think I'm aimed up perfectly too. And there's the right cross. Straight up Cthulhu's ass. And it does absolutely nothing. The only thing it did was make everyone that Cthulhu took with him more sad before they ended up going straight to the nether realm. How many people were sad? About a billion. Okay, how about a space worm? Can I punch a space worm? Okay, the space worm is really slow. All right, you gotta pick up the pace, buddy. Okay, the space worm, God, it's like on GHB or something. Can you move a little bit faster? You, it's a straight line to Earth. There's no reason to do all the waggling. The Earth isn't gonna be there by the time you get there. You are making this go much longer than it needs to be. The Earth is currently wearing goggles. Goggles where it got double fisted. Okay, here we go. Now this is a real punch. Nothing. How about the lightning? Can the, can the, can the lightning from the emperor do anything? No. Now that I know that you can summon lightning inside of a planet, there's a pause button too, so hold on. If I make a little bit of a hole right here, you know, right in some of the best vacationing areas near me, then I pause and then I go to the category 2000 hurricane over here and I just, you know, randomly click a gajillion times. Does my gajillion clicks register all at once? I'm just gonna click for like five minutes and see what happens. Hold on, I'll be right back. Clicking intensifies. Alrighty, now that we've done our thing, it looks like a, a another dimension is slowly opening inside of the earth. Um. Okay, everyone died at once. At first there was like one billion people that were dead and the other six billion people were like, we're not gonna be last in this race. I think what's interesting is I'm pretty sure that part of the earth will still be left. Okay, now a lot less of the earth is going to be left. I thought there would be a bigger chunk than this. Now it just looks like a half eaten piece of pizza crust. There you go. The only thing that's left is an alien hand giving me the middle finger. I was hoping that the minigun would do something to the space worm, but all it's doing is like feeding it. It's like feeding one of those dollar goldfish that you get from the local carnival that's gonna die in 30 minutes anyway on the drive home. The space worm is just like that. It kills like 4 billion people and then it just pisses back off into the universe. Welcome to Terraformed Mars, otherwise known as Elon Musk Mark. Now the one thing that this game always hated is when I made a nice pocket here, okay? Follow me. And then we put the explodey testicles inside. 
Alright, you, you want a good amount. I would say, I don't know, 40? You don't want to pack too many in, otherwise they'll explode on you. Alright, now we get the Slender Man version of uh, Armageddon going. Now he should line up pretty much perfectly with the bombs. And this should start a chain reaction that will more than likely destroy my computer. I mean, it'll also destroy, you know, Terraform Mars. But the whole purpose here is to torture the graphics card as much as humanly possible. Okay, clearly that was a low punch, but goddamn! <laughs> oh my god, it evaporated him! He didn't even like duck away, he just disappeared! I didn't think he was killable, but he clearly is! The last little bits of his, uh, I don't know, his essence! I appreciate that that explosion happened, and still there's 700 million people left. However, that was enough to graphically glitch out a square from the middle of the planet. Well, this means I've gotta close things up over here, but that's fine. There's nothing like throwing a bunch of moons, and then also starting a bunch of lightnings. Oh, the lightning is starting inside of the hole! This is incredible! More lightning in the hole! Shove all the lightning inside of the hole! Emperor Palpatine would be proud! He's like, good, release your hatred. Oh, we're making the dark side proud. Wow, it, it will lightning strike all the way from over here. I actually clicked on this trying to destroy the moon that I had thrown at the planet, but it didn't give a shit about the moon at all. All the rest of the lightning is completely confined into my little sphere of total human anarchy. I like how the moon passed through here and it's got like one small pimple on it. It's like, ah, typical day in gray space. Now I need to know, would a legion of these things die to the sun exploding? This is like the last big question that's on my mind. So there's the legion, crank this up, make it pink obviously, destroy the sun, sun goes boom. And now everyone here that's pissed off at Florida has a choice to make. Do you stand around and backhand the sunshine state and possibly get skin cancer? Or do you peace out? Clearly punching Florida was their number one priority. Oh no, they're leaving so quickly. Come back, I need to know. I need to know if the supernova does anything. And... Nope, just a typical day on the beach. We have deeply hacked the various code particles of Solar Smash, and we have now added various things like the God Entities and Lightning. Now you may say to yourself, But great, how much more ridiculous can Lightning get? Well, it depends on how many steroids you give Mother Nature. This is one single Lightning. See that right there? What are we gonna get, one billion dead people? Rookie numbers! I was right on the money. <laughs> now, while this is effectively the Earth having participated in botched LASIK surgery, what we can do... Like, what would happen if you just turn the amplitude up to 10? I think this deals with the penetration. <laughs> ah, yes! Two billion! <laughs> I think it's because the lightning bolts are basically playing with the Earth like a child with Play-Doh. You can see how much deeper the holes are getting. Actually, what happens if you put the amplitude up to, oh, I don't know, a hundred? You would think that it would go right through the Earth, but I think it's actually more limited by how much damage each bolt of lightning does. I don't even know if you can increase the speed of lightning. It's already lightning. I mean, I'll try it just to see. No, it's pretty much still lightning. <laughs> damage intensity. 10. I would figure this would probably simply erase the entire Earth. Actually, it's not. It kind of looks very similar. Well, except for the fact that it is, you know, groin kicking the Earth trying to get to the core. I think because I aimed at an ocean that we only got 881 million people killed. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. I'll do better next time. Damage range, 10. Actually, you know what? HP damage, let's throw that at 10 as well. Now get right in the middle of Florida this time. I don't know why, but man- Oh God! I think 10 may have gone a little bit too far because one lightning bolt erased half of the earth. It's still going. There's nothing left. Stop mother nature. <laughs> yep. It, uh, it, oh, hold on. <laughs> There's one little area that you could potentially live on. It's the size of Hawaii. Hold on, let me just... I, this is overkill, but can it... Will it even strike it? Yeah, there's nothing left to strike. The, the lightning is just chilling out being angry. Jupiter is typically pretty resilient to damage. I don't know if I could erase Jupiter. Hmm. I was wrong. Oh, had to get that last lightning strike in, eh? Saturn, how you doing? Can you take it? No, God, please, no! 
Survey says no. Well, it started to come back, but then it stopped. Now it just looks like many pieces of sad avocado. And just because I think it's important, we're gonna put it up to 100. I don't think it's gonna matter because I imagine in one shot, the earth will completely evaporate. Then we're gonna have to move toward things like, you know, the God Fist. I'm gonna go ahead and slow this down because I have a feeling that it's going to happen very quickly. Very first lightning strike. Once again, the- Oh, the game is breaking. Oh my god, I think I just blew up the sun as well. I can't see anything. It is just, it is just the color of death. And yeah, you can't spell earth without pain. Say hello to Dollar Store One Punch Man. Now normally his job is to give the earth a thorough prostate exam. It looks something like this. Mmm, rookie number. That was a lot deeper than I thought it would be. It sounded really bad. Actually, now I'm kind of curious. Hold on. I just want to see if I can eventually have him punch straight through the earth or he'll, if he'll end up taking some other part that I'm not aiming him at. Yeah, that was not where I aimed you. Come on, the earth is right there. How can you miss it? Oh, I, I'm sorry, Australia. I don't remember having clicked on you, but I think the issue was it's just trying to, yeah, here we go. I think it was just trying to get completely through the earth and Australia kind of, you know, got in the way. Now, if I turn the amplitude up to a hundred, it is possible that off-brand One Punch Man may be able to utilize the earth as a sock puppet. Now, that's about as deep as you're gonna get. Damage range, 20. Why not? Yay! Mm. It's like someone shoved a firecracker inside of a grapefruit. Let's go ahead and turn that back down. How about damage intensity? Before it was just kind of distance, but I really want that penetrative look. I want it to go through the middle. Ah, it feels weaker. What happened? Uh, damage intensity 1000? It's been a while since I punched like Ireland or something. And from the top rope, Oh, maybe that actually got it deeper. 1.5 billion people dead too. HP damage. You know what, screw it, whatever, 10,000. <laughs> we might as well go for broke at this point. We're already, you know, evaporating most of the planet when I simply turn the damage range up to 100. What the hell? <laughs> Killed 2.9 billion people. What, did half of them die from a heart attack? Wait a second, HP damage, all of it. Can I kill everyone on the planet while leaving most of the planet still intact? Now I'm kind of curious. Eight. The answer is no. All right, well, before I move on to the next thing, I might as well give this the old one tap lovin'. Here we go. He didn't even stick around to see his handiwork. He was just like, yeah, it's kind of what I figured. So I just found something very interesting about the space dragons. Now, normally they come into the earth and they look for that like sweet middle. But it's like trying to, you know, get at the center of the Tootsie Pop and it gets to the center of the Tootsie Pop and eventually the earth just kind of like poops the dragon out the other side. If I move the amplitude up to a thousand, watch what happens. You would figure it would go even deeper into the earth, but all it does is take a bite out of Florida and it's like, ah, I'm full. Actually, I don't know if the dragon is full or if it just didn't like the taste. Like watch, it doesn't matter. Wherever you put it now, with the amplitude up, it just makes a U-turn. That just reminded me too. By supercharging Cthulhu, I think I can finally get the entire planet through the portal. Actually, hold on. You may say to yourself, Gray, what are you doing? Well, there's a bit of cloud cover here, so you can't really tell. Hold on, let me get rid of it. I'm just making the earth a bit more appropriate considering What's about to happen? There we go. Would you you want to live on the A of pain? <laughs> yeah, let me let me fill this up as much as we can. I'm actually gonna make the I sparsely populated. People are gonna love the end though. There you go. Welcome to Planet Pain. I like how everyone stayed away from the middle of the planet. They're like, we know we're great clicks. If we kind of stay over to the left or the right, we should be okay. Not if I can pull this entire planet into the Cthulhu portal. All right, good clean four trillion people on Planet Pain. Now again, if you start right in the middle here just to kind of test things out, this is where I love it when the numbers just don't even make any sense in the game anymore. This is kind of what- Whoa! <laughs> Maybe I should have attacked at the back of the planet. I love how people went all the way to the left and the right of the P and the N and it still didn't matter. They're like, damn it, really? Okay, so if I take Cthulhu and uh, yeah, let's just increase the damage intensity by two, by twice over. I just want to know, in fact, I'll attack the back of the planet. How about that? Everyone should be okay now. I just want to see how much it takes 
to eventually yoink the planet to a different sphere of consciousness. It still killed everyone! Stop it! I'm gonna go with amplitude 10. I don't even know if the balls can get damaged here, but I'm gonna move it up just in case. Damage intensity 20. I feel like if we do 100, we're not even gonna get it to see anything. All right. 20s across the board. Cthulhu reaching in for the big pull. And he gets half of the planet. Oh my God. Oh, actually, hold on. All right, real quick. If I have one Cthulhu over here, oh, I gotta get to the other side real fast. And the other Cthulhu exactly on the other side. Now I'm curious if when they pull the planet, they'll just rip it clear in half. Here we go. Now you'd figure that the planet should, there shouldn't be anything left because it looked like we got exactly half of the planet from before. I'm just like prolonging the inevitable here, but I do love the super slow motion. And, uh, ah! and here we go. It's about to disappear. Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> Oh, the tiny little bit on the bottom. So who would you want to go with? You want to go with the left Cthulhu or the right Cthulhu? I actually don't know which dimension will be better. Okay. So, ah, oh, screw it, whatever. Damage intensity, 100. I'm going to put all the numbers max after this. I don't think it'll make any difference. Although maybe like the lightning, it'll just light up the screen and give me cataracts. Okay. Everything at 100. Cthulhu coming in. I assume the entire planet will disappear after his first little grapple. See, he has to grapple first, then the damage radiates throughout the entire planet, and you are left with absolutely nothing as he leaves with all of humanity. I love that there's still kind of an outline, like a dust outline of where the planet used to be. Oh, it's gone now. It was there for a second. All right, and I mean, j just because. Yeah, whatever. All that. Yeah. Uh huh. Now I'm kind of curious if Cthulhu can get through the shield of that one shielded planet. Like, obviously, this is just going to disintegrate everything, right? Oh, space whale Cthulhu. There it is. Yeah, so that just evaporates everyone. Now, Machine World does have their fancy shield. I just don't know if the shield can absorb this much damage. Well, I was totally wrong. The shield could absolutely absorb that much damage. That looked awful, too. All that Cthulhu was doing was giving this planet a massage. Look at him. He's like, Yeah, I charge $60 an hour. How does it feel? Can you feel all of your muscles relaxing? The planet's like, well, not really. I feel slimy and violated. So the planet can stop Cthulhu. Will it stop the lightning? Because the le- Wow, I didn't even press the super slow motion in time. It was just one strike and the planet was gone. How come Cthulhu's like a chiropractor and the lightning is just a giant eraser? The one thing I haven't messed with yet is like the old space worm here. Now, he seems pretty evil, but realistically he doesn't do that much damage. He kind of just chews on planet pain. Eventually he'll decide that he's had enough and uh, well, eventually he'll come out. There he is. But what would happen if, say, we brought all these numbers up to 10? Space Worm's about to go to the gym. All right, everything's up to 10. Space Worm is ready. Let me get, let me get nice and deep in here. I do want to see the eventual touchdown. And I think we're going to hit the end of pain. Whoa! Okay, going to 10 was real bad for the Earth. Real bad. The worm's like, I was cutting weight for so long. I'm so hungry. Actually, now I think I can probably get the earth disintegrated from one single worm. Like when he's done, how much is gonna be left? I don't know, maybe like one third of the earth. So if we bring the intensity and the range up to 20. I'm gonna go for the P this time because what the hell? Just being in the presence of the worm gave the planet skin cancer. Look, it's already dead. All right, well. I mean, does it, does the worm still do a lot of damage? Like when it comes to, oh, oh, that is legit half of the earth. And that's two bites. The earth went from a meal to a snack. So now put him over here, Cthulhu over here. And now I'm kind of curious who gets their side of the earth first. Cause the worm has to travel quite a distance. But it takes a while for Cthulhu to pull the half of the earth into his dimension. Ah, the, the worm got it first. And this is all that's left. You're welcome. 
The earth is now basically a permanent lemon wedge that chills out on a glass of sadness. Oh, hold on. Oh. Okay, I thought it was gonna touch my one part of the lemon wedge and erase the rest of planet pain. Oh, it's wrong! He's going for it! No, there's not gonna be anything left! Oh. Well, there's totally something left. Congratulations, I've replaced Earth with a Senzu Beam. <laughs> it's Solar Smash. So, uh, Solar Smash had a giant update, and before they did this, they actually asked me some things that I would like to see, and so I have to show you the horror that is now possible, besides being able to finally shove things up Uranus. <laughs> now, you can create a custom planet, and you can decide exactly where the land mass is. Crap, I just freaking blew a hole in my custom planet by accident, hold on. Anyway, where the land masses are. You can shove people in there. In fact, you can just shove a lot of people in there. You can shove as many people as you're prepared to hold down on the mouse for. Actually, hold on, we can be a little bit more artsy here. All right, just throw down some of this. There we go, now at least we have, you know, something legitimate. Now we can shove all the people in there. Here we go. I feel like the F would be especially good property values. So I'm gonna throw everyone in there. Less people live in the U's. I just threw a meteorite on the middle of the U's. Now it looks like, I don't even, I don't really wanna describe what that looks like now. Oh, you can change the intensity of the brush. Hell yes! Oh yeah! Oh, this is much easier. Throw some cloud cover on there. It looks like, can I put like Saturn rings around it? Oh, hell yes! You can even make it like a D20. Anyway, once you do all this, you can save it, and then you get to find out exactly what your world is like. See this, three billion people live right on the F. Or at least I think they do. I don't really know how many people live in these other, well actually we can find out. Might as well use the new, Use the new weapon here. I killed over a billion people. I also created FOC. I don't know what this stands for, but I'm sure it's something totally monetizationable. The only problem is, is that three billion people on a planet isn't enough. I may actually have to add land to an entire planet and shove as many people on there as humanly possible. Now, before I do that, hold on. Here, let me just get the F out of there. Okay, so this brush all the way up, all the land on the entire planet. All of it. Water, we don't need water where we're going. Oh yeah, there we go. Come around this way. I love that this game is like art, except instead of creating beautiful pictures, you're creating massive amounts of casualties. I realize now when they asked me what I would like, I wanted the ability to kill more people, like to custom make the world so that I could do terrible things with it. I only now realize that my verbal description of what I want in this game makes me sound like a psycho. Oh, don't, don't wanna miss anything. Here we go, okay. So now all the available space is taken up. All right, let me just save this because I have a tendency to blow planets up without wanting to. All right, put that all the way up. Now as many people as I can shove on here. It's actually quite hard to draw the word yeet. Imagine this was like a science project for school or something like that. Your parents would be like, what did you do at school today? And you'd be like, I killed 70 billion people. Although in today's day and age, the parents would be like, I'm so proud. This just looks like a gigantic orifice in the middle of the earth that keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's like the earth mouth. It just keeps screaming louder and louder because it knows what's coming. Oh, hold on. I missed a spot. <laughs> Can't have that. There we go. There we are. No place on this planet will be safe. Actually, considering I've already put however many billion people, I should probably save. You know what? How many people are on here right now? 58 billion people. Oh my God. I'm not, I'm not even close to done yet. We might get a hundred billion. I'm not gonna lie, it has definitely taken some time filling up this entire planet with people to kill. But you know, like, Rome wasn't built in a day. This isn't really like Rome, it's more like hell. I, hell probably wasn't built in a day either. The devil's probably still importing furniture from Wayfair or whatever. Right now it just looks like I'm giving the earth a gigantic sunburn. Oh, I left a cheese doodle on there. All right, we're almost there. Got a couple more sanctuaries that I need to fill up. 
Is it just me or does this look like a frog? Oh, this planet is just looking hideous. All right, fill all that up. Get that last little spot over here. There we go. There we have it. Okay, so every single inch of this planet is now inhabited by the maximum amount of people which gives us 103 billion people. Again, always make sure to save often because we're gonna be blowing this up a lot. I think my favorite part is, okay, so this is the dark side of the planet. It's actually brighter than the non-dark side of the planet because there's so many cities. What else can I do to this place? Does it matter how cold or hot it is? Is everyone still alive? Yeah, no one cares. Just one giant Canada. And now it's one giant Florida. The cloud cover doesn't even matter because you barely get to see the clouds. I do always love like asteroid belts. We'll put that there. Vegetation. Our vegetation is painted with blood. There. <laughs> it just looks like, like rivers of blood. I actually had to do it with vegetation because we don't have any water. At least I don't think we have any water. Hold on, let me, let me turn it like hot pink just so yeah, there's no water, it's just land. What is this? Is this like the color of my cities? Oh, this is just the overall tint of the planet. My planet looks incredibly festive. All right, so if I take my uh, my lightning here and I just touch like the tip, how many people die? So, <laughs> I actually broke the game. I can't use anything. I put so much crap on this planet, I'm not even allowed to kill it. Hold on, there has to be a way. Oh God. It works now, but it saved this image of my planet. So it looks like my planet is a sun. You know what? Seems like something I would do. Everyone lives on the surface of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> that actually looks kind of cooler than any planet I could have designed. Well, now I can finally lightning strike it. Oh, the lightning can't even exist. Oh, it can't, it just, it's just inside. Wow, I killed 103 billion people with one single storm. Okay, there we go. I got my planet back and it looks real now. Well, you know, save for the seas of blood. So with the new weapon, one single shot, how many people die? I'm gonna do it up here, actually. 11 billion people. You know, with this, hold on a second. There you go, I made a revolver. Strangely enough, the safest place to live is in the backside of the revolver of death. Can you blow up the sun out here? I'm just trying to see if my custom planet can suffer a toxic heat death. It absolutely can. I'm really hoping that the game saves how many people I've killed. Because we're gonna be, we're gonna be setting records here. Just real quick, I hadn't actually gotten to play with the freeze ray that much. I don't understand why it's killing people. Well. I understand why it's killing people in Florida, but I don't understand why just being cold kills everyone else. It's what- Oh, turn the earth into a snowball. Did I get something for this? Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember flat earth, but I don't remember, I don't remember us giving us cube earth. Cube earth is amazing. Actually, now I'm kind of curious. Hold on, where, where is Florida at on cube earth? Oh, we're over here. I just need to just real quick. Oh, we're gonna have to, hold on, I need to step this up. There we go. Oh man, I was hoping the earth would stay alive. Although now it kind of looks like two pieces of toast. Quite frankly, it's delicious. While I have cubed earth, there is something that obviously I have to do. This, this, I don't want it to go too deep now. Maybe a little deeper, right? Well, a little deeper, there we go. All right, now we go over here. Yeah. No, don't blow up yet. Just just chill out in there. You guys are really disappointing me. I was gonna say, if I throw them into the side. All right, how about if I slow things down? There we go. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Don't do it, don't do it. Do not explode yet. Do not explode yet. I am nowhere near done. Damn it! I think the thing that amazes me the most is how much death I've caused so far, and there's only one billion people that died from all this insanity. Ah, it's pooping out my explosions! Stop it! Well, actually, this is... Well, it was working out well. Now, not so much. Now, I can't actually even see. Real quick, just because I need to know, does the cube planet have, like, better sunscreen or anything? 
Uh, no, it does not. <laughs> I don't know if it dies like a circular planet, but it's not looking good so far. It's basically just a sugar cube getting slowly dissolved. Oh, that's interesting. It has an outline, kind of like a cardboard box right now. Uh, it's still exploded in a vague circle though. So, I mean, you can give this a shield. Does it stop the ultimate cannon? Of course, I put the shield in the middle of the ocean. Listen, I wanted to protect the whales, okay? Uh. Okay, the shield did nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. <laughs> what am I paying you for? It protects against other things, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on, now I'm kind of curious. How many of these can you have? Is there any way to stop the cannon? I'm like Iron Man, I'm going to throw money at this problem until it works. Yeah, I'll put them on the backside too, how about that? Okay, like a giant cancerous growth at this point, they have stacked outward and... Do it! It did absolutely nothing. Oh, I actually went almost through the exact same hole. Well, now I need to know something else. Hold on, I need to put an absolutely obscene number of these things around the planet. I'm assuming you can't stop the sun's explosion with these, but I'm willing to spend seven billion lives in order to find out. Yeah, I wouldn't want the, wouldn't want the polar ice caps to melt. Let's make sure to protect that real good. I want every square inch of this planet to have a shield over it. Oh, there's a corner over here, can't allow that. Here we go. This whole side. I told you I was prepared to use an absurd amount of these. More! Every square inch. Okay, I think, oh, hold on. The problem is the friggin' so many corners like running out of actual screen space. I mean, this is a channel of extremes, so it kind of makes sense. There we go. Okay, gotta fill up that hole. Uh, let's see, you got one over here, one over here, this whole edge. Okay, now that I've effectively made a deal with the devil, spent 70 gajillion dollars, it looks like there's openings, but there's not, because the problem is when you look straight ahead, it's all closed up. This is the ugliest protective sphere anyone has ever made. Right now, some alien species is looking at this and face palming. Okay, so this part over here that's pretty far away, I just want to test. It will legitimately stop things, right? Oh yeah, okay, stops that, no big deal. Giant fisty guy, it takes out quite a few of them, but it does stop him. I'm assuming the, the bull crap beam just goes right through the planet still. Yep. And now, the big question is, does this just act like, oh, hold on, there's another hole. Does this just act like a giant piece of tin foil? Does it just, does it just bake everyone inside, basically? Keep finding more openings. Okay, now I'm satisfied. This, okay, sun's exploding, time is slowed down. Everyone's still okay. Everyone is not okay. Every so many people are, are less okay now. Oh, Florida's gonna be the last to die. Yes, I did it. I saved all my people one time. Oh, legit. It killed all of the, okay. I wasn't sure if it would destroy all of the protective things, but it does. And once again, the planet is sad. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't think that the planet knows how to experience happiness. I went back over to my custom planet. <sighs> I ended up using the world destroyer bomb by accident. So now, damn it, there's a second one. So now all 103 billion people just got liquefied due to a misclick. What happens if I give it the D20? Oh, it's got a lovely bionic squid on the bottom over here. That's good. Will that stop the world destroyer? Oh, I mean it did so far. I don't know what's gonna happen once it, you know, peels in on itself. Yep, planet's totally fine. Can the shield stop Cthulhu? Cthulhu doesn't give a shit about no shield. Reach in there and grab it, Cthulhu. Never mind. Cthulhu just got backhanded back into the nether reaches of space. How about shadowy one punch man? Are you able to get through the shield or are you just gonna break your hand? Ah, totally got through the shield. Finally, part of the, the planet is actually dark as well. I wanted to see if the little buzzsaw ray could get through this, but they just crash into the asteroids. So the asteroids actually do something. See, it starts trying to 
It starts trying to meld its way through the earth, but then because they suck at driving, they run into the asteroids and die. So wait, if you take out one of the squids, does that stop the shield? Stops half the shield. Now my earth is wearing a sad hat. How about if Cthulhu is spawned inside of the shield? Oh, he just, he just, no matter what, he goes to the outside of the shield. Let me fondle the shield until nothing is left. I didn't know this, but you can actually hit these asteroids. Like, you can send them out into space. What happens if you drive a moon through the asteroids? It does provide a little bit of protection. Saying this sounds really bad out loud, but I want to know what happens when I open up a black <laughs> hole in the middle of Uranus. There we go. Now Uranus, I don't know, it's all just gas, so... It just looks sad. It's like a large di- Oh. Uranus is healing! Uranus cannot be defeated! And there you go. While Uranus has a permanent scar, it is... still in one piece. So wait, if Cthulhu comes down and like literally takes a part of it with him, does it still get to regenerate? Although I don't really think he should be taking a solid. Okay, no, he doesn't. Yep, totally regenerates. Interestingly, the thing that does the most damage to Uranus is freezing it. Uranus is indeed allergic to the cold. I was curious. Okay, yeah, I was curious if opening up a black hole on my 103 billion population planet would get rid of some of the asteroids, and it absolutely does. My planet wasn't happy not being a cube like the other one, so I fixed it. Okay, so I know that this laser is basically the strongest weapon in the game. It's just instant death. So can this take out Cthulhu, finally? All right, summon him. I don't see anything. I can hit him from this side too, it went right through him. How about the worm? No. I'm trying to saw cubed earth in half. There we go. I was gonna say, but everyone just keeps running into one another. There, and now I can finally put a bunch of black holes in the middle of two pieces of bread. And that's what that looks like. It's delicious. And, you know, violently murderous. And we're left with what looks like Cube Earth screaming in pain. You know what the creator of Solar Smash did to Solar Smash? He shoved a bunch of secrets into it. You know what I'm really bad at? Finding secrets. One of the ones I did find though, is that you can completely control the plane if you do certain things in a certain way. And I can't wait to use this plane to molest the planet in horrifying ways. Apparently the plane is invincible as long as you just keep shooting. Look at that, the earth is just like slapping the plane away. It's not actually trying to kill it. It's like, stop touching me. It also begs a lot of questions. Just how much crap can you do with this plane? The other thing is it allows the game to actually be like fully discoverable three dimensions. First question I know everyone has, can you blow up the sun with the plane? Actually beyond that, I need to know if you can fly the plane into the sun. I'm not gonna lie, sun's a tough bastard. Can I leave this and then come back to it? Because if I can can keep this ship, grab this, hold on now, move this up, blow up the sun, then go back to the ship. Does the ship get melted when the sun comes in? Hold on, oh, damn it, it does! Ah, the ship blew up over there! The earth is like, now you know how it feels, Gray, you bastard! Solar Smash is the only game where I misclick and 200 million people die. I did not mean to do that. One of the things I wanna test is to see if you can control any of these other things, and then I have to make that plane do all sorts of stuff that it's probably not meant to do in this game. Like, I wanna see if I can, like, go into Cthulhu's dimension and stuff with it, or get in the way of the fist of the space cowboy. Luckily, the Earth provides the perfect target and canvas for such testing. Not because it volunteered, but because it can't run away. It's like a hunter hunting an ear of corn. Ears of corns are living creatures too, damn it. They just don't really say much when you bite into them. All right, so here's the meteorite. Can you do anything with it? You can hold down this button and you will throw meteorites at very, very fast speed. The best part is I don't even have to like click or anything. It just happens on its own. It's like a meteorite centipede. Hold on, just real fast. All right, go here and then. Yeah, it's pretty bad. 
All right, I'm trying the uh, the World Destroyer missile here just to see if it does anything. I wonder if I can shoot this thing out of the sky with the planes. Shit, I misclicked. Remember how I said when you do that, you basically destroy the planet without trying? Well, piss. All right, do this. Wait until my plane comes in that I can pilot. There we go. Hold on, let me move this over to the side. Get out of this. Go into the missile. This, slow things down because this is gonna be a pain in my ass. Get out of this. There's so much you have to do. Okay. Uh. Damn it. There we go. That was a direct hit. I have a feeling it didn't do anything though. Oh, I, you, you still make the things happen when you have two things going at once. So not only am I flying the plane, but I keep shooting all of the world obliterators as well. Jesus. On the plus side, you get a front row seat to watching what effectively microwaves the core of the earth. See, it actually lifts up from the planet as we can see here. Uh, that's the souls. <laughs> of everyone in Florida. I know this looks bad, but I put like SPF 100 on my fighter space plane before I decided to annihilate all of mankind. Yeah, it's really radioactive in here. I never, never really went this deep before. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna wait for those comments. What in the hell? Where are these damn things even coming from? Thing like did a 90 degree angle to get at the core. All right, I do have to see if I can fly the plane into the sun because I think that's that's something every pilot dreams of. All right now, I, I expect that this would take forever. So hopefully you can manipulate time while doing this. Oh, thank God you can. A Little bit of a pain in the ass to fly, but it definitely works. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, it's like going to Florida. What the hell? Oh, I can spawn this like indefinitely if it dies. I don't think you can get to the sun though. I don't know if I ran out of gas or just ran out of the will to live. Doing a flyby on Africa. Okay, my flyby was probably a little bit too close. Some dude fishing in the ocean just got the top of his sailboat sawed off by my plane. Oh my God. When you hold down the button for the lightning, it is awful. Hold on. I gotta, we gotta back up to really experience that again because it's bad, man. <laughs> Look at how ridiculous this is. It's like a giant Tesla coil. <laughs> like a Tesla coil on meth. A methla coil, if you will. All right, how about the black holes? Does it do anything unusual? Anything weird? I mean, obviously you can, you can spawn like six billion. Oh God, it's destroying the game. Oh, this is just what I wanted in life. Oh, it's glorious. Glitch, my son. <laughs> it's black hole -ception. Um, I spawned like a billion black holes and it looks like, oh, Australia's still around. Hey, look at that, there's still four billion people left. Like the most benevolent I've ever been. Which means we have to try the moon next. All right, Australia. Now this is, there's nothing against Australia, but it makes like a really good center area on the earth, if you notice. It's like dead center where I'm positioned right now. So this is perfect for this test. Alrighty. Oh, whenever the game stagnates, that's pretty much exactly what I'm going for. All right. Get a whole slew of these going here. Yep, that is perfect. All right, don't really know why they're starting to go upward. Not sure why they're totally just getting pissed off at physics. Don't know why. Wonder if I can shoot the moons. Hold on, slow everything down. Where's my brave pilots at? All right, moon, I'm coming for your ass. You attacked the wrong damn planet. Earth is where I keep my stuff. Oh, you actually can shoot the moons. Hell yes. Drink my tachyon space urinade. Now I'm wondering if you can shoot the other planes. <laughs> Doesn't look like this game's like defend Earth. You ass must be crazy. Hold on, if you if you line up perfectly, if you line up perfectly, come on. <laughs> ah, why are they faster than me? How come I got the sh engine? No, everything just goes through them. All of my squad mates are like, that's what happens. You got the eco model. You wanted better gas mileage. So. Um, I probably screwed this test up. I wanted to see if I spawned the plane as far away as possible. If I could pew pew my way through the core of the earth. Uh, but what I didn't think about is that because I still had the planet destroyers selected, my pew pew was also using the planet destroyers. You can see how many extra spawn and never even got to touch the earth. Actually, I think this means, hold on. Oh yeah. If I use the beam as the item for this, I can actually pew pew the beam. Hell yes. I have no idea what happened. 
but I broke the game. You're not supposed to be able to be inside the plane for this long, but like I'm permanently in it now. It's supposed to kick you out after it goes past a certain distance, but can I crash to get out of this? There we go. I couldn't get to the sun. It just stayed like the same distance away. There's like a, an invisible box around the earth. Oh, I just realized since I can control that ship, there's something I have to try. All right, hold on, let me aim this right about here since this this gets things moving so much faster than me getting carpal tunnel syndrome. All of them, get in there. I want at least 1,000. Now before, the game used to break with around 40 of these. So uh, I hear it's been optimized a little bit more. So it sh everything should be fine. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so I need this to not shoot at that. I've stuffed the entire core full of those things. So I'm gonna use the planes over here. I'm gonna do this and then this and then fly my plane over here. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> Hold on, I've gotta, I've gotta do this in slow-mo once we get close enough. Oh hey, I'm moving into the rotation of the earth too. Couldn't plan this any better. All right, slow everything down. Aim on up, and here we go. <laughs> oh, Earth, you are my, you are my greatest self-portrait of agony. Now you will look how I feel. I, oh my God, hold on. I can't see anything. Jesus. I'm scrolling out as much as humanly possible, but it's doing nothing. So that got detonated and somehow 6.6 .6 billion people are still left alive. I feel cheated. On the plus side, the people that I failed to kill were apparently saved by my frame rate that jumped in the way because it's now about one. I'm lining up like a million of the punchy guys to see if I can fly into the fist. All right, should be right around where the guy's punching, right about here, if I have this aimed up correctly. Again, because I spawned so many of the damn guy. Jesus! I was gonna say I'm at like one FPS. I'm still alive, so I'm giving it one more shot. Come on, punch. Punch before I hit the wall. Punch before I hit the wall. The punch is gonna go straight up my ass, or at least it should. Do it! There it is! The ass punch of a lifetime! <laughs> Just to double check, I spawned like 50 more of them. I'm one of those people that always says, you know, you can't be, you can't be too sure. Okay, I'm over here doing the freaking canyon run. Okay, I was right in line with the punch and it looks like it does go straight through the plane. Okay, I'm checking to see if I can run into the shield. You may be asking yourself, Gray, why would you wanna do that? The real question is why wouldn't you? See, everyone else turns away because they're weak. <laughs> you can crash, you can absolutely crash into the shield. Don't be bit. Come on, hit the shield. It's like a rite of passage. It's like being nine years old again and making a, a ramp for your BMX bike out of plywood and tetanus. Can you drive the shield? No. I was checking to see if you could drive the, uh, the UFOs. You can't do that either. How about the thing that makes the planet sad? So what happens when it's going around and the shield is like partway in the way? Does it have like a nice little, like that one spot on earth that doesn't get obliterated? <laughs> it's like a small part of Africa over here. I said I was gonna try and fly into Cthulhu's home realm. So that has to happen. Alrighty, get Florida lined up here. Grab my plane, slow things down. Get Cthulhu involved. Go back into my plane. Oh, dimension of darkness, take me home. This is the closest that you'll ever get to Cthulhu's tentacles. Can I shoot him? I have no idea if this is working or not. Pull up! I don't even know where I'm pulling to. I'm not pulling anything. It's doing it for me. What the hell? Ah, you can actually see the tentacles I'm inside of them. Cthulhu's like, ah, that's too intimate, get out. Now you know what it's like, you bastard. Ooh, look, it's like gripping me. We're going home, everyone. Wait, Cthulhu, come back. I already paid for this trip. It's like an Uber that didn't take me to where I wanted to go. You're gonna get one star, you bastard. I'm trying to go for the portal anyway, just to see what happens. It looks like it's gonna close up and... What the hell? What the hell? What is this? The tentacles are still here. 
Why? What the hell happened? It's like he tried to leave and he got his nipples caught in the door. I didn't really know what else to say. I don't think that Cthulhu has an ankle. I like how this happens to the Earth and there's still 6.3 billion people left here. It's like, yeah, it's fine. Can you drive a space worm? Okay, that was... That was not what I clicked. I thought I was on the worm. I clearly wasn't. So here's another Cthulhu because you know what? You deserve it. Okay, now I'm on the space worm. Nope, nothing. Maybe I can fly into its hole. The, the hole that it makes when it eat, you know what I mean? Okay, here we go. Now just follow the path. In fact, I may want to slow things down because I'm not the best driver. Hey, space worm, can you like, like widen this hole a little bit? Like stretch this thing out? It's kind of tight in here. Oh yeah, nothing quite like flying through the center of the earth. So this is uh, one of the other things that I learned about. Got to give the earth a haircut and a shave. And then after the liposuction has taken off enough weight, you get a legitimate flat earth. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah, Florida's looking good. What the hell happened there? Did I do that? I don't think I did that. Part of the earth just got annoyed. Just decided to evaporate. Took 162 million people with it. The time has come to fly a plane into flat earth. Actually, I kind of want to shoot through Flat Earth. It's not that thick, right? It's flat. I don't know where you guys are shooting at, but I appreciate that you left the entirety of the flatness to me. Oh God, I might not get through it. I just realized I'm blasting Canada. <laughs> I'm sorry, Canada. <gasps> I think, I think I made it through. Uh, I think it worked. Did I just get pooped out of Flat Earth? I totally did! Hold on, I can actually go through again and pop out the other side. Oh yes, it's so beautiful. All right, I gotta park this thing back down over in Southwest Florida. Yeet. I have to know what happens to these things that go in a circle when there's really not that much for them to blast. Oh. Oh no. What the hell? They only took like the tiniest little part of the Flat Earth out and they were like, oh, that's boring. Can you still obliterate the sun? Oh yeah. Look at that. You should be thankful. I just turned the earth into a well-cooked pizza. Get it while it's hot. 500 million people are like, fuck Bruh. you. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and ride Cthulhu's tentacles on out of here. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.